This video is an introduction to the Rollbar Item Detail page. The Item Detail page is used to review an error item and to understand the root cause of the error item and the business impact of the error. The first thing that you will want to do is to configure the screen layout to make it easy for you to investigate the error. You can get the context graphs to show horizontally as a separate tab, or alternatively as a vertical panel on the main screen. Let's start by reviewing the context graphs. By clicking on the various links, you can either show all occurrences, occurrences for a particular time window, or for a particular bar on the bar chart. Notice when you open the occurrences table that it shows the important columns of the occurrences, including the code version and custom tags that you have added to occurrences. You can download the results by CSV or by querying them further using the Rollbar Query Language or QL. In a similar way, you can review the IP addresses affected and the people affected. By clicking on the hyperlink for an individual person, you can see all the errors experienced by that user. Let's look at the Detail tab. Initially, we open the page with the latest available occurrence. If that changes, you can update to the latest one. We also allow you to view the previous and next occurrences. Moving to the stack trace section, we can open the file for each frame of the stack trace in your source control system. By clicking on the plus icon, you can get additional context, including potentially local variable values and method parameters. You can copy the file path by using the copy to clipboard icons. In the param section, we see a table view of the important data in the occurrence. Note how for the code version cell, we display a link. If you click on that link, you will see all the errors associated with that code version. We can see custom tags that have been added to the occurrence. When data is displayed in a hierarchy, you can collapse that data by clicking on the link on the right hand side. Note also the links for the person ID cell, the uh, request user IP address cell, and the server host cell. By clicking on those links, you will see all the errors associated with the user, the IP address, and the server. In the telemetry section at the bottom of the screen, you will see page events or screen events that occurred before the error occurred. By clicking on the JSON tab, you can see the JSON representation of the error occurrence, and we can search for strings in that JSON payload. By clicking on the related tab, we can see the fingerprint for the item and items that appear similar to Rollbar. You can see the history of comments and status changes by clicking on the blue icon on the upper right. You can see followers of the item. And you can also copy the URL to share it with a colleague. I've created two service link queries. One to query my Zendesk tickets for support tickets associated with this user, and the other one to query my Kibana logs for info and debug messages associated with this session. Rollbar service links allow you to create dynamic queries to external systems, and you can create service links using any data in the error payload by using the Create Service Link button on the left.
At this point, you are probably ready to make a next step decision about what to do with this item. Maybe if it is an unimportant error, you may change its level to warning. You may also mute it so that you stop receiving notifications for this item. You can assign it to a user. You could create a ticket in a ticketing system such as JIRA or open a pager duty incident. When you resolve the issue, you can add a comment here or the code version that it's resolved in and mark the item as resolved. In this video, we reviewed the main parts of the Rollbar item detail page and how to use it to investigate an error in your application. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to use the Rollbar item detail page.